it's I'm Warrior Cosplay here, and today I've got my Krieg uh, respirator box here. Um, I've been thinking about doing some bits and bobs, there's some upgrades and stuff. One of the upgrades I'm going to be doing uh, in this video, the other upgrade is probably... I might change the paint job a little bit, I might make it look a bit different. I'm not sure about the, uh, the browns and stuff I've put on it, so I might... Because uh, this was a bit rushed, because I needed to get it done for MCM. The box itself was a bit rushed uh, in terms of the paint job, the build, the build, the build is fine. The build, is, it's a box, you know, but um, the paint job to it just just took like a couple of minutes. I didn't really focus too much on it, uh, except with these. I I painted these. This is where I put some detail into it and here as well. But anyway, so the box opens as all of you know. It also has uh, it also has just to show you, it has some LEDs as well, powered up a nine volt battery. Um, what I've got today for the upgrade is a coupler. Now this is a gas mask coupler. This gas mask coupler, I've put some tape. I've put some tape around it so that the ring doesn't fall out. Uh, but I'm going to put some hot glue behind it as well just to hold it um, a bit more sturdy. As you can see, this is super shiny and really, really new because it just came in the post today. <clears throat> my plan is at the moment the way the, the the respirator is it comes like this this is this is all one piece the tube doesn't come off it comes off the mask but it doesn't come off the box and that can be a bit of a headache so what i've decided to do is take the old connector out put this into the box and then have this be able to screw onto this so i've got the hot glue gun uh, on at the moment so i'm going to hot glue this in a second but before I do, and while I let the hot glue gun uh, warm up, let's take the let's take the old connector out. So super easy. It was just on by pressure. It was just the lip that was stopping it from coming out, and it was good enough. It's it's it's, it's good enough to stop it from coming out. As you can see, um, it's literally just a perfectly cut hole that I did with a piece of plastic. Um, I made sure, obviously, the size was. A bit smaller than what I needed so that this would fit in the main the first bit fits in fine as you can see and then the little connector there it's the same with this one so it's just the opposite way around anyway let's uh, move that to one side for a second let's have a look at this now as many of you know um, while I was working in the workshop a while ago on the Krieg um, a spider came out of the tube when I put it down on the table so I permanently hot glued these closed now um, I was going to use the new gas mask tube, but the um, the connector on the gas mask end has like a, a, a bigger lip on it, and I don't like the way it looks. I prefer this one. It has a smaller, rounded lip to it. So, my plan is to take the old hot glue pieces out, because I will be putting a fan system in this soon to supply a bit more cooling air uh, into the gas mask. So... If you bear with me, I'm going to remove the hot glue and I'm going to hot glue this. And once I've done that, I'll be back for assembly. Right, so that's the uh, the buttons I put in the ends of the uh, gas mask hose removed. The reason being is because eventually I'm going to put a fan in here. Now, I've never been one for fans. Um, People have told me time and time again, oh, you should have fans in your space marine. You should have fans in your space marine. I've seen what fans in space marines can do. They they fail quite often. They take a lot of power consumption. They're not always very good. Sometimes they'll just turbocharge hot, hot air around your entire suit. I've never been one for fans. But for my Krieg, this isn't so much to keep cool as it is just to help with clearing a bit of the mist on the lenses. Now, don't get me wrong. I use anti-mist spray that bikers use and Ranger of Creek cosplay my best friend Harry he can vouch for that because he borrowed some the other day and he he loved it so it's it's worth doing um but what I'm planning on doing is I'm planning on getting a small fan and putting it in here the fan will be here and it will be blowing air from inside the box out I will be cutting another small hole here I know it goes against my chest but I was thinking about putting a hole in the side, but I don't know whether I can because 
I've thickened this piece up quite a bit inside. We'll see if I can do that, then I will. Um, but because I haven't built this with a fan in mind and I'm adding a fan second, it's going to be a bit difficult. So anyway, let's get on with the assembly. I've hot glued this and it is ready to go. So we'll get ready with assembly. Right there. With the hole made a touch bigger using my Dremel, I have attached the new coupler by pressure fit only because I like to I like things to be tight when they go in, uh, but then I can support them with uh, glue or something. For example, the glue gun is warming up with me right now because on the inside of this, uh, around the rim that's inside with the foam, I'm going to add support to it there. Um, I don't like that it's shiny, so I will dull this down like I have done with these. See, I've added the black paint and stuff on them, so they don't shine as much. Uh, this actually connects on and tightens up quite nicely. See how it, it stays quite flush with the foam? I think that's really nice looking. Whereas before, the lip was inside and you only saw about maybe two and a half threads. Whereas this, you see all of it. So now, if I ever need to, I can I can unscrew that now and have just the box if I'm ever just chilling out. Um, like I've said before, the tubes, as you all know, can go together. This will then go into my uh, Krieg medic bag, along with my gas mask and things like that. When I'm walking around a con, just, you know, chill, if you will. Um... I did wonder, because I have this connector here, I have this connector that goes to that. I have a spare female connector on the gas mask hose I have upstairs. Well, I thought to myself, why don't I make something that goes on the end of that, like a piece of foam that goes on the end of it with like a device on the end of it, like maybe, I'm trying to think now, maybe something like, um, like a grill or like a box that goes on the side of this, just like a little box that goes on the side of this with like a, a mesh grill and then maybe some LEDs or something um, for when I'm not wearing the gas mask, just so it looks a bit cleaner rather than just the tubes, the, the, the connector sticking out the end like that. If I have something large that has the connector embedded into it, I can screw it on. And once it screws on, it'll tighten up and it'll be straight. And then that's that. I could have that there and the box will look nice and clean and then I won't wear a gas mask and I could walk around a con in sort of, if you will, chill Krieg. <laughs> like, for example, I know Krieg don't take their gas masks off, but let's say the Krieg was on a completely luscious and oxygen-filled planet and they just, you know, I'll take my gas mask off. Um, so anyway, yeah, that's my plan. Um, whether I'll do that now, today, I don't know, but I know uh, tomorrow... Uh, both Harry and I have a con up in Wrexham, where we're going as Krieg. That's why I'm doing this today. But I thought, while I'm doing this, I would make you guys a video of how I'm doing it. So, uh, I would show you the inside, but I really don't know how well... There you go. So that's the inside. There's there's the there's the connector there. And I'm going to put hot glue inside the lip now. There's the inside of the box with the 9 volt battery and the LEDs and stuff. So, has the glue gun warmed up? Yes, it has. Right, let's glue this sucker. So this is going to be a bit tricky, but it's going to be, you know, perfectly fine. If I just take that connector and move it out of the way. I know you guys can't really see what I'm doing, but I can assure you I am hot gluing the connector so that it doesn't come off or come out while I'm creaking. Obviously, a really hard pull on this, uh, on the tube or the connector or something, will probably dislodge it. Um, it'll probably dislodge it enough that it could either tear the foam or just pop out in general. But um, as of right now, it'll do really well for my Krieg. There we go. That is plenty of hot glue in there. Now, I know a lot of people don't like using hot glue. Uh, a lot of people try to use other methods, but I've opted for hot glue because I find hot glue 
compared to some other glues that I've used for trying to glue metal parts and stuff to foam. I find hot glue does work quite well, even though we all know that um, hot glue and metal don't stick together at all. They just come off. So, you know, there's there's the whole, there's the whole, hot glue doesn't stick to metal, but if you hot glue metal to foam, the foam does a lot of the job of holding it in. There we go. There was a bit of runoff there I needed to sort out. That goes into my little glue pot over there that I use to make uh, casts of like molds and stuff, like skulls and such. There we go. That is done. Right. Okay. Let that dry. Well, sorry. Let that cool down. You don't let hot glue dry. You let it cool down. That is nice and solid already. I'm very happy with that. Put the lid on. I'm very happy with that. Just to show you guys how cool does that look. I think that looks very cool. So, with that on now, this can go on to here. Like that. This will go onto my Creed. And that's that. It's as easy as that. The tube, if you loosen this a touch, the tube can rotate, but the, the coupler stays on. For those of you who don't know how gas masks work, they have like a they have like a, a bearing system where this piece stays still inside the rubber tube and the outer piece turns. Works really well when you want to adjust your gas mask hose to make it look perfect. But yeah, that's that pretty much done. That is my quick and easy little solution to the fact that when I take my gas mask off, if I want to just walk around chill, the tube always pulled the box down like that because of the weight difference. Um, now I can just simply unscrew and there we go, the box is separate. I'm gonna, I'll do a little coupler or something for here with like a box or something on the side at some point. But as of right now, that's pretty much it. So. Another little quick thing for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. It was just a last minute thing I thought about doing the video, but uh, it was honestly going to be just me fixing this and then that's it. But I thought I'd make you guys a video just to show you what I've done. So looking forward to Wrexham. I shall see you guys there tomorrow. Bye for now.